Hello, I'm Mr Maths and today we'll be talking about top heavy fractions. You get to hear me now. If you get to hear me now. Today we'll be talking about top heavy fractions and how to convert them into whole numbers and fractions. So let's take a top heavy fraction. 5 over 2. So it's top heavy because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So how do we solve this problem then? How do we make this into a mixed number? Well, the answer is quite simple. We just perform bus stop division on this number. So let me just move over here. We'll do it underneath. So we push the 2 on the outside of the bus stop and the 5 on the inside. How many 2's go into 5? Well, 2 2's are 4, so that's 2 and there'll be a remainder of 1. So, 5 halves, remember the 2 is halves, equals 2 holes and one half. Two whole pizzas and a half of pizza. Okay, let's do another one. Twelve over four. Or a quarter, so that's twelve quarters. Once again, we put it in a bus stop division. We put our 12 on the inside. How many 4s go into 1? Well, we can't do that. So we put a 0 here. We cross that out and we put the 1 there. How many 4s go into 12? And that's 3. So 12 quarters equals 3 whole. Now there's no remainders, so there's no quarters left. So just 3 whole. Let's do another one. Nineteen over nine. Okay, so now we put this in a bus stop with the denominator on the outside and the numerator on the inside here. Right. Okay, how many nines go into one? We can't get one, we can't get nine out of one, so we put a zero here. And we put a remainder there of one, so we put that there. How many nines can we get out of 19? Once nine is nine, two nines are 18, so that's two with a remainder of one, so the answer would be 19 over nine is equal to two and one ninth. Okay, let's just do one more and then we'll finish this video. Okay, so let's do seven over seven. Okay, so the numerator and the denominator have the same value, they're the same. So this would just equal one but I'll prove it to you with the bus stop method. Seven, and we put the bus stop, and put the seven on the inside. How many sevens go into seven? One, and there's no remainders. So when the numerator and the denominator are the same, then that equals a whole. For example, two halves, two halves of a pizza, equals one whole pizza, doesn't it? Okay, I've been Mr. Maths and I'll see you later.